Feature Graphics, Lecture Number 6 Work with files of the editor Adobe Photoshop There are our plan of the lesson. Number 1. Creating a new document. Number 2. Opening a file. Number 3. Change image and canvas sizes. And number 4. Color modes. And finally, number 5. File types. And there are some references for you, you can read them if you want to know some more information. Adobe Photoshop is a professional image editing standard. Two general usage of Photoshop, creating images and editing existing images. How to get started? First option, click start, find and click. Photoshop 7.0 or second option click find Photoshop icon on the desktop double click to the icon step uh, creating a new document step number one click on file and then new or hot key on windows you will see the new document dialog box step number two Set the document parameters that you need. For example, I set the following values at document 12 to 9 cm, resolution 300 ppi and the color mode RGB, white background, color profiles RGB by default. You can see these parameters on the picture. Step number 3, press OK and you will see the document page is as follows. Opening a file. Opening a file is easy. Click menu and then file and open. Navigate to the file and highlight it, then click, click OK. But what if you don't know where the file is? If the location of the file is unknown, use Find File. Practice steps number one: find the file college (GPG). Use File Find and Note Location. Number two: go back to Photoshop. Number three: click Menu and then File, then Open College GPH. Note. Sometimes a window is asking if you want to convert to open. Convert to workspace is a desirized option. So you can see this text on this picture. There is a new document, open document and save document as. First open the Adobe Photoshop and then Step 1. Choose image and image size. The image size dialog box appears. Set pixel dimension and the document size and check other options. This is the change image size. Change image size. Step number 2. Uncheck, for example, image from above figure. By checking the resample image checkbox, you can increase the resolution without decreasing image quality. Step number 3. Type 300 in the resolution field. The C size is reduced in the width and the height text boxes to accommodate the new increased resolution. For quality printing at the highest resolution, this image should be printed no larger than approximately 2 and 9 inches by 1 and 9 8 inches. Press OK. Change image, image resolution. Step number 1. Click on the top of the image of the barn to make it active. Press Alt and then click the file information area in the status bar. The dimensions of the barn and image are displayed as 885 pixels wide by 542 pixels tall and the resolution is 72 pixels or inch. Step number one. Wait, number two. 
If the picture is not visible, choose window and uh, to make it the active window. After confirming that it, this is the active document, select image, image size to open the image size dialog box. The image size dialog box appears. Change image resolution. It has two main areas, pixel dimensions and document size. Pixel dimensions show the number of pixels that make up the image. Document size shows the resolution information as well as the actual physical size of the image. Step 3. Type appropriate resolution to resolution box. Press OK to apply the transformation and close the image size dialog box. Step number 4. The rooster is now an appreciate resolution to combine with the barn image. And after we change canvas size. Canvas size. Document window is sometimes referred to as the canvas. Changing canvas area is fundamentally different from changing the image size because pixels are never visible when the canvas is altered, just added or removed. Change canvas size. First open the Adobe Photoshop and then Step number 1. Open the sample file star PNG and step number 2 choose image and after it canvas size then canvas size dialog box appeared. Change canvas size. Step number three, select height and width in percentage. Step number four, open the canvas extension color drop down menu and select other. The color picker appears. Click the area outside the circle to select medium gray and click OK twice. A gray border is added around the artwork. And step number five. Choose the image, canvas size again, deselect relative and change the width drop down menu to pixels. Type 800 in the hey box and then click OK. A warning dialog box appears that says the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size. Some clipping will occur. Click proceed. Using copy and paste. Step number one. Click the top of the rooster image to make it active. You can have many documents open at once in Photoshop, but only one of them is active at any time. Step number two. Choose select and all to select the entire image. This creation a selection marker around the outside edge of the image using copy and the paste. Step number three, choose edit, then copy to copy the selected image array. The image is now in your computer clipboard, ready to be pasted into another document. Step number four, select the top of the barn picture to make it the active document, choose edit and then paste to place the image of the rooster into the picture of the barn. You can see this in the, this picture. Step number 5. Select the top of the rooster image and choose file then close. To close the file, don't save any changes. Changing pixel width and height. Changing pixel width and height is related to web media. Whenever someone gives you dimensions on a web file, it will be in pixel width and height. Example: 640 and 480. As a rule for descriptions of dimensions, width always comes first. To alter pixels, width and height, 
you will need to be in your image size menu. To change width and height, to sure to have scale size and the constraint proportions and resemble image checked off. Checking off resemble image will give you access to alter the pictures. And then checking of scale sizes, constraint proportions will keep the dimension proportionate. To change pixel width or height, type in the number in AC menu and click OK. Don't worry about the document size proportions of the menu. Changing pixels width and height. Another method of altering pixels width and height is through your cropping tool. If you have a specific size in, in mind, click on your crop tool, put in your dimensions in the top menu and select the area you need crop it. To set up or change sizes, place the size in the dimension boxes. For pixel width and height, always place a px after the dimension. Color modes. Color modes define just that. The modes you are in will allow you to be set up for the whip or print and will allow access to different filters and features of photo editing. Below is a general description of the most used color modes and what they allowed you to do. And there are CMUK and the RGB. CMUK is print mode. This mode is set up for print medium, whenever you are working on a full color document and you know it will be printed, make sure it is set on S M U K mode. Some filters such as the filters are not accessible when in C M U K mode. If you if you know Will, you will be using filters from the filters gallery, change your model to RGB. Once you are finished with using filters, change it back to CMUK. RGB web mode. RGB color mode is the mode you will want to use when setting up documents that will be used on the web or video. Also use this model if you need to use filters from the filters gallery. CMUK CMUK color code is used especially in printing file. It helps to choose a color based on rendering that gives printing. The CMUK color co code comes in the form of four codes, each representing the percentage of the color used. The pri primary colors of subtractive synthesis are cyan, magenta, and the yellow. Also, the last color is the mix of all the colors, which is black. A fourth ink cartridge is added with the pure black. The CMUK represents the cyan percentage, magenta percentage, and the yellow percentage, and black percentage. Oh, so there's a CMUK. So C on is C, magenta, M, yellow, E, and the black K. RGB. RGB color values are supported in all browsers. An RGB color value is specified with RGB or red, green and blue. Each parameter red, green and blue defines the intensity of the color as an integer between 0 and 250 feet. For example, RGB 0, 0 and 255 is rendered as blue because the blue parameter is set to its highest value, 255, and the others are set to 0. You can see there are 
uh, RGB. So the main colors are red, green and blue. And if you mix these colors, there are, uh, when you mix blue and green sign and uh, when, when you mix green and red, you get yellow and when you mix blue and the red you get magenta and you, if you mix all the colors you get white different file types different file types serve different purposes when saving your document click on the format drop down menu to see your file type selections Below is a guide and definitions of the most used file types. Click on the file and then save as option and click on the format drop down menu to see your file type selections. And there is a picture for you. And then PSD. PSD stands for Photoshop document. This file type gives you the most access without quality being lost and allows to, for files to be saved at a larger size. It saves all lawyers, channels, text or any other settings you have been working on. This is most commonly saved as your original file which any final edits should be made to. For example, work on your PSD file for making final edits, then save a copy with no editing capabilities, no layers for printing. And then TIFF or TIFF or TIF. TIFF stands for Text Image File Format. TIFFs are similar to a PSD file in that they allow full editing capabilities. Images are also saved as a high quality without quality being lost over time. This is the preferred file type when sending image to print. It is recommended to work on your original PSD file and save it a flattener, no lawyers, TIFF file when printing. This allows quality to be maintained, but file size may not be as large as a PSD. JPEG or JPG. JPG stands for Joint Photographic Expert Group. This file type does not save lawyers and is considered a flattened file. JPEGs are the most commonly used files for the web and for sharing photos with friends and family. Most often, digital cameras save image files as a JPEG and a JPG, and they are able to, to be saved in a much smaller file size, which frees up space and are able to be saved in a much smaller file size, which frees up uh, space and makes it's more convenient and but as a result are considered a lossy file. In other words, they do not maintain quality and lose quality over time. Every time you open a JPEG file, the quality is lost. For comparison, consider copying an image on a copy machine, then making a copy of that copy and doing the same thing repeatedly. You will notice the image slowly lose quality which each copy made. The same concept applies to a JPEG. So just remember, try not to open JPEG files so no more quality is lost. It is always best to have an original file such as TIFF or PSD. You can go back to a maintain quality. TIFF. JPEGs are your friends for the web and file sharing but not maintaining quality and then GIF GIF accessible through the save for web menu the GIF stands for graphing interchange format 
the GIF is an even lower quality file type in comparison to a JPEG and is used for the web. It reduces the amount of colors in the document to reduce the file size as well. However, because it is lower in file size and quality, it promotes fast download time for web pages. It also is accessible for all internet browsers. Two major advantages of the graphic interchange format is that it supports transparency and you can apply simple animation with layers of image using the animation tool. PNG PNG standards for portable network graphics. This file type is less known and used and was originally intended to replace GIF files because it supports transparency just like a GIF, maintains quality and co contains more colors. Also, it is not quite as popular, it is a better file than both the GIF and the JPEG for G digital images. This is file in it maintains the quality of an image regardless of how many times it is opened. The only downsides are that it does not support CMUK color mode, meaning it cannot be used for printing, does not support animation and because it is not as known uh, used as much. Some internet browsers may not support it. Tip. When choosing to save digital images, choose a PNG over a JPEG to mating quality. PNG files are also good to use for flash and PowerPoint presentations. And then PDF. PDF stands for Portable Document Format, most used for file sharing, viewing and printing. Images can be saved as a PDF file in Photoshop, which allows for maintenance file features, for example, lawyers. You can save it as a JPEG compression of a zip file to prevent loss of quality. One advantage of a PDF image file is being able to use spot colors. Spot colors are specific colors used in the printing industry. For example, if you are going to print a file as a one color image, you would use a spot color. By far, and greatest advantage of saving in a PDF format is accessibility. Anyone will be able to open the file on an, any computer as long as they have Adobe Reader installed. Adobe Reader is a free software by Adobe that is easy or can be installed on the majority of people's computers. Most people already have or can install this software within minutes. There are some questions for you. Number one, what is pixel? What do you mean by resolution? Number two, what is image adjusting? Number three, discuss about combining process of images. Number four, discuss about changing image resolutions. Number five, in Photoshop, what is a smart object? Number six, what is resizing images and what are the parameters to change the size of the picture? Number seven, how you can unlock the background in Photoshop? Number eight, how do you select an exact color to match? Number 9. What is the difference between PSB or Photoshop Big and PSD Photoshop Document? Thank you for attention. Nazarlanzga Rahmed.